Ionization is when a neutral atom becomes an ion by losing or gaining electrons. An atom that becomes an ion has been ionized. When atoms become ionized, they lose or gain electrons in such a way that they are left with a full octet, eight valence electrons. Let's take a look what happens when sodium is ionized. Look at the periodic table, it has an atomic number of 11, therefore the neutral sodium atom will have 11 protons and 11 electrons. Look at the figure to the left, you can see that it has one valence electron. Now carefully look at that figure on the left, it's going to turn into a sodium ion. You see how it changed? It has now only 10 electrons, but it has 8 electrons on its outermost shell, eight valence electrons. So when sodium lost its outermost valence electron, it gained a full octet, which makes the sodium ion more stable. If you look on a periodic table, we see that sodium has an atomic number of 11. Therefore, a neutral sodium atom has 11 protons and it has 11 electrons. Now the protons are positively charged and the electrons are negatively charged. Each positive charge cancels out a negative charge, like so, leaving the neutral sodium atom with an overall charge of zero. Now the sodium ion, on the other hand, still has 11 protons, but since it has lost an electron, it only has 10 electrons. So when we look at how the charges cancel, positive still cancels out negative, but what happens is we still have a positive left over, giving the sodium ion a charge of plus one. Thus the symbol for the sodium ion is Na plus. Another example, calcium. A neutral calcium atom has 20 electrons and it has two valence electrons on its outermost shell. Now, watch the figure on the left carefully. It's going to turn into a calcium ion, which has 18 electrons and eight valence electrons on its outermost shell, giving it a full octet and making it more stable. If we find calcium in the periodic table, it has an atomic number of 20, so it has 20 protons. And since it's neutral, we know that it has 20 electrons. And the 20 positive protons and 20 negative electrons cancel each other out, giving us an overall net charge of zero. Now the calcium ion lost its two outermost electrons, so even though it still has 20 protons, it only has 18 electrons. And what happens is when the positive charges cancel out the negative charges, we have some extra positive charges left over. So here we have two positive charges left over. So it has a charge of plus two. So when we write the symbol for the calcium ion, it's Ca2 plus. When atoms lose electrons, become ions, they are called cations. Atoms of metals tend to lose their valence electrons. And cations are positively charged ions.